everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Eden May Penal. And today, I am going to present a step-by-step -step process in doing a circuit layout using any circuit simulation tool. In this case, I am going to use Circuit Wizard as my circuit layout simulation tool in designing a PC. So, after downloading and installing Circuit Wizard, double click this icon found on your desktop. And I'm using version of 1.3. As you can see, white sheet of paper is displayed on the screen, wherein it allows us to create our circuit design. Now, this is the toolbar where you can locate some of the important tools that we are going to use later in our circuit layout. Start with the layout, click the gallery tab where you can find different ready to use electronic components that can be applied in doing layouts of our PCB. And now, I am going to create a circuit layout of alarm sensor. Okay, let's start. Okay guys, I just finished layouting the electronic components needed for our alarm sensor circuit. Now, I am going to change the values of each component. Now, 
I am ready to simulate my created circuit. Just click on this one to run or simulate. In this side, you can view the circuit in different modes. We are now viewing our circuit in normal mode. Now, if you wanted to know the circuit's voltage, just click on this one. For viewing how the current flows, click here. Well, this is for knowing the logic level, and this is for standard view. As you can see here, I turn on the switch one, which is the single pole, single throw type of switch, which made LED one to light up. So in order to make an alarm, switch two must be pressed until the buzzer alarm since it is a push to make switch. To stop the alarm, just turn off the switch one by clicking. Okay, since we already know that our circuit is working, I am now going to convert it in PCB layout. We just have to click stop and convert it in PCB layout. Now, click Artwork, and it is now in the form of PCB layout. It is now ready to be transferred in our PCB, which I am going to show you in my next video. We are also going to discuss the common PCB design issues that someone needs to make. So guys, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel.